Oh no! Wait a minute. Something's pushing me up from below. What's going on? I'm on a sort of massive moving island. Whoa. It's not an island, but it is massive. It's a blue whale! Woohoo! Blue whales don't have to worry about predators. They can weigh well over a hundred tons, as much as 30 African elephants. Whoa! It's another one. It's just come up to the surface for air. Whales breathe through holes on the top of their heads, and that's why they're called blowholes. Whoa! So I better hurry up and get that photo I need. That's no good, I'm too close. No wonder Mr. Hammond had problems taking his photo. Blue whales are so big, you need to be a long way away to fit them all in. Hang on a minute. Aha! Selfie stick. Perfect. Right, let's try again, shall we? Oh, this is still not working. I need to be way, way up there to get a decent photo. If only I had a jet pack as well as an aqua pack. Aha! Uh -huh. One more big breath out, please. Managed to get a great photo of a blue whale. I'm sending it to you now. Well done. I'm sending the safari sub to you. I managed to get it working again. Fantastic. Thanks, Jen. Thanks for the lift, blue whale. Opening dive chamber. Mask check. Prepare for launch. like there's something swimming around up on the surface. Could it be a chinstrap penguin? Only one way to find out. It is! Yes! Huh. And you can see why it's called a chinstrap. Look at that black line under its chin. Maybe he can lead me to a penguin nesting ground. Oh, no. It looks like the poor thing is struggling in the broken ice. He needs to get out into the open water where he can swim properly. Wait a second. Is that... <gasps> it's a leopard seal! And they eat penguins! Quick, little buddy! We've got to get out of here! <sighs> Almost there! Look! Come on! We'll be safe with the rest of the penguins. Dive down under the ice. It'll be quicker. That's it. Yes, he's found his friends. So long, leopard seal. I made it. Hmm. Can't see any chicks around here, though. Ah, it says here they nest at the top of the cliff, safe from the rough seas and those pesky leopard seals. Oh, well, I've got a bit of a climb ahead of me. Uploading adventure gear. <gasps> Great! Let's go.
These penguins are incredible. They're using their wings, claws, and even beaks to get to the top and back to feed their chicks. Not so easy for me, though. All this mud is making it very... Whoop. Whoop. Slippery! <sighs> if at first you don't succeed, try! Try! <sighs> Again! <sighs> oh. At last! Ah, excellent. Mr. Hammond won't be able to see me now, so I don't need to be small anymore. Back to normal size. Great, that's better. Right. Look, it's the first seal pup. Just like Mr. Hammond said. How strange for it to be this far away from the sea. Right, I better catch up with it and figure out what's going on. Wow, what is this place? It's a pool packed with seal pups. This is like the best water park in the world. No wonder you were so keen to get up here. Thanks a lot, Cheeky. Oh, well, now I'm wet, I might as well join in. Jen's calling. Yes, I have. But not just one pop. Look! Oh, oh, my goodness, Andy. That's incredible. They look like they're having so much fun. More fun than swimming with those killer whales I saw earlier. Just a second. That's it. They must come up here because it's a safe place to learn how to swim. Away from any hungry predators. Amazing, Andy. You should hurry back, though. We need to give Mr. Hammond an update as soon as possible. I'm sending the safari mobile to your current location. OK, Jen. Another polar bear, and this one looks hungry. Oh, the walruses don't seem too happy either. They're starting to stampede. Watch out, guys! Don't squash the little ones. They're heading into the water. Coming through. Oh. stay in the water all day, and they can't go back on land with well, that polar bear still hanging around. What are they going to do? Wait a second. Icebergs! That's it! They're all climbing onto little icebergs. 
They must feel much safer from the polar bears on there. And they won't get squashed by all the other walruses. So that's what we need back at Safari World. More icebergs. Oh, hang on. It looks like they don't want to share. Oh, it's Jen. Hi, Jen. Andy, have you found out where the walrus mothers raise their pups? It's getting really out of control here. Well, I think I might have the answer, Jen. We need more icebergs. Icebergs? I've got an idea. I can adjust the temperature here in the Arctic Dome, which will create icebergs. Great. Sounds like a plan. It doesn't help me here, though. That mum and her pup have nowhere to go. Andy, my scans indicate there's an iceberg not being used just over to your right. Oh, I see it. Thanks, Jen. Over here, you two. There's a nice little iceberg for you both. Come on. Yes, this will be perfect. Come on, you two. That's it. Over here. Oh, look. Mum's using her tusks to pull herself up. Oh, how clever is that? Come on, little one. You can do it. Yes, made it. They'll be nice and safe up here. Wow. Great. Ooh. I think I'll dry off first and then head back to Safari World. See you later, walruses. <laughs> It found one. Oh, uh, bad luck, fishy. It's tricky to dig when you have flippers instead of hands. But the dolphins are doing a great job with their snouts. They're certainly stirring up the sand, but not enough to make the circles we saw on the drone. There must be something else here causing them. I don't think I'm ever going to solve the mystery at this rate. I wonder where they're off to. Perhaps they'll lead me to whatever it is making the mysterious circles. Wait for me. Well, I followed the dolphins to the surface, but I wonder why they've led me here. straight into the dolphin's mouth. Why would they do that? No, I really have seen it all. Hey, it's Jen. Hi, Andy. Hi, Jen. Oh. Ah, was that a fish slapping you in the face? Uh, yes. Strangest thing. I'm floating in the middle of a pod of dolphins and fish are jumping out of the water straight into their mouths. That's fascinating. But are you any closer to finding the cause of those mysterious circles? No, Jen. Sorry. I got a bit distracted following the dolphins. According to my scans, you're right beneath the camera drone that spotted them. Oh, yes. There it is. If you look on the camera, you should be able to see me, Jen. Hi, Jen! Joey! Hi, Andy! Anyway, like I said, there's no sign of the mysterious circles anywhere. Yes, there is, Andy. You're right in the middle of them. What? Really? All I can see are dolphins and flying fish. Woohoo! Good catch! Dolphins are creating the mysterious circles. I couldn't see them on camera earlier, as they must have gone underwater. But it's really obvious now. Really? Oh, brilliant! Andy? <sighs> Andy? Are you okay? I lost contact. I'm okay, thanks, Jen. 
There was a big storm, but it seems to be over now. Huh? Where have the seals gone? They're over by the ice hole. I can see them on the webcam. Oh, yes, there's Mum. It looks like she's giving her pup his first ever swimming lesson. Oh. Oh, he doesn't seem too sure about it. Hmm. Maybe I can help. Over here, buddy. It's time to go swimming. Follow me. Here you come. The water's lovely. No time to look cute. You need to get wet. Your mum's waiting. Come on. Yes, you did it. It'll take him several weeks to learn how to swim and catch fish. But Mum will stay with him every step of the way until he's ready to look after himself. See you later, Weddle Seals. Happy fishing. Right, time to get me back to normal size. Open subhatch. Engage boosters. Time to head back. Upload Safari Weld uniform. Great! Hello, Mr. Hammond. Oh, Hansy, there you are. I've got some wonderful news. My Weddell Seal webcam's working again. And look, Jen's playing back the footage of the little pup learning to swim for the first time. Oh, um, Mr. Hammond, have I ever shown you my impression of a Weddell Seal pup before? No, I, I don't believe you have. Oh, 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 o